see it. Nice shirt. Well, oh. nice to see you. Antoine. Thank oh. you, David. Hey, David, did you see, uh, did you see uh, Maria Shriver's new show last night? No, was it on last night? Yeah. No, I didn't see it. last night. She's got the cutest way of saying the title of her own show. What is the name of the show? Cutting Edge. Cutting Edge. Not Cutting Edge. What does it say? Cutting. Cutting Edge. Okay, spell that for me. C-U-T-T. Uh-huh. E-E-N. Oh. <laughs> cutting Edge. She says it over and over again. It's just the cutest thing. How, how's the show? What's on? Is that, is that the bonehead husband of hers on that program? No. It's, it's her own show. And if I may say... I wish that guy were here right now. I'd teach him a thing or two. Uh, You'd take little... him right down. Yeah. I know. It's uh, absolutely cutting edge. Cutting edge. And yeah. you enjoyed it. I enjoyed it very much, especially the way she kept saying the title of the show. Oh, Which is, again... Cutting, cutting edge. Cutting edge, yeah. Do you, do you own one of them uh, videotape machines, a VCR? I have a VCR, I got yes. a question for you. I got one uh, Christmas, I guess. I got one yeah. for Christmas. I didn't have one, and then I got one. And uh, so what, you know what you can do is you can go into these stores. They have these video stores. You can go in and you can rent movies. And you can bring them home, and you can watch them right there in the comfort of your own home. And you don't have to worry about uh, waiting in line to get wow. a ticket to go in yeah. to see the movie. And, and uh, the floor is not sticky in your own home, or no. not supposed to be. Not supposed to be sticky. Speak for yourself. So... <laughs> cutting edge. Yes. Cutting edge. And it is really cutting. So, cutting. Uh, so I have a question. I've been renting these uh, things uh, for the last couple of months, and before every movie, a little, a uh, little thing, a little warning comes up. It's an FBI warning. Right. It says it's a federal offense to videotape the movie. Now the question I have is: It okay just to videotape that warning? The warning. <laughs> is that a federal offense too? That's a tough question. I can't answer that question. What's the matter? What's what's going on? What's what's wrong? Did you did you hear something? Something going on over in something New Jersey. Something in New Jersey. Hang on. Just... Oh man, it's like a. What that look like to you, Paul? Wow, it's like a big tornado. <laughs> looked like a looked like a twister, didn't it? Yeah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, you you couldn't have picked a better night to tune in because uh, this evening we are starting a brand new feature right here on the program. It's called Anton Figg's Expiration Date Guest. There's our drummer right there, Anton Figg. Now, well, yeah, sure. Here's, here's how this works. Anton, put on the blindfold. All right, Anton slips on the blindfold. Now, may I have tonight's perishable item, please? There it is right there. Anton, I can tell you only that tonight's perishable item is homogenized milk. <laughs> Anton Figs, expiration date guess. Here we go. All right, Anton, may I have your guess, please? Uh, I'm going to say uh, it expires on um, August uh, 19th. August 19th. May we see the actual date of expiration, please? And it is August 22nd. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Anton. You were very... Very close. A nice try. Thank you very much. How'd you like to guess the expiration date on the dress? There you go. Think about that. There. Yeah, summer of love right here is your summer of love. Well, uh, let's see. Now, we're going to do that every night, Anton. And uh, you'll try and guess the expiration date. Okay. Are you excited? Very. Are you eager? Absolutely. Do you feel challenged? Yes, I do. Do you feel fulfilled? Mm-hmm. Here we go. <laughs> Cutting edge. Yeah. How you doing? I'm doing marvelously, sir. How yep. are you, sir? I'm, I'm pretty good. Are you having a good day? I'm having a good... So far, so good, yes. Yeah, good, good. And you, I'm sir? having a great day. Fabulous. I'm, I'm very happy because I believe that we have nearly broken the back of summer here in New York City. Yeah, it's yeah. almost over. Yesterday was nice, and today is a little less nice. Yeah, but a little I think, muggy. I think that long eight-week period of relentless, insufferable, nasty, hot humidity and haze is about to go. See, I love that kind of weather. Oh, really? That's my favorite kind of weather. You see yeah. guys on the street, and it's so hot their tattoos are running. That's what I love. <laughs> see, up north in Canada, we don't get any kind of... We get, if we get two days of 75 degrees... Well, that's fine. They're saying, boy, we're having a great summer. Yeah. Man, hot. Now, now wow. like yesterday when I left the building, the air was very soft, the sky was a deep blue, and it was very nice. It was and lovely, And it was yeah. like 60, 65, 66 degrees yeah. in the evening. Yeah, very nice. I don't mind that. If we'd have that all year round... 
Is this the dullest conversation you've ever listened to? <laughs> uh, what are we doing here? What's going on on the big show? Oh, oh, I almost forgot. Last night, this... Damn. Last night, we started a uh, brand new segment on the program, and uh, frankly, the phones have not stopped ringing off the hook. We're going to do it again tonight. What is it? Huh? What? What'd you say? Huh? You say something to me? Huh? You said something, though. What'd you say? What'd you say? You said something. I can't wait for this part of the show. There you go. That's what he said. <laughs> he said he can't wait for this part of the show. <laughs> Anyway, it's called Anton Fig. Anton Fig is our drummer, and it's called Ant Anton Fig's Expiration Date Guess. Here we go. Okay, now, now, Anton, is your blindfold in place? All right. May we have tonight's perishable item, please? All right. Anton, I can only tell you that tonight's perishable item is a New York State extra sharp cheddar cheese. He's tasting it now. <laughs> He's considering the expiration date. Um, I'm going to go with uh, s um, September the uh, 15th. September 15th. All right. Thank you, Anton. Excellent guess. May we see the actual expiration date of the cheese, please? And it is September 24th. Very, very close, Anton. I'm terribly sorry. Nice try, though. I love this segment. Me too. Now what are we doing? Oh, oh, this would be good too. Paul, a little dialing music. Thank you very much. Thank you. And may I share, may I share the generous applause with the winners of the Grand Prix of Horn Agility. <laughs> Greg Adams, Lee Thornburg, Dr. Stephen Kupka, Tom Timko, Emilio Castillo, the Tower of Power, yeah. Porn. Ladies and gentlemen, they're here. We got them. Let me, let me guess, let me guess. This is only a guess. The uniforms still have not arrived? Yeah. That's... <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, earlier this week we began a uh, brand new segment on this program. And I don't, uh, I don't think you understand how exhilarating it is for us. We've been on the air a long time, and when we come up with something that's as successful and exciting for us here in the studio as well as you home viewers, that there is nothing to compare with that sense of exhilaration. Am I right, Paul? It's a rush, we okay. used to say. So tonight, <laughs> installment number three of something we like to call Anton Figg's Expiration Date Guest. There's Anton Figg. All right. Anton, uh, is the blindfold in place? Yes, it is. All right, the blindfold is in place. May we have tonight's perishable item, please? There's the perishable item lady. All right. Anton, I can only tell you that the perishable item that you'll be guessing about tonight is strawberry yogurt. There you go. Anton Fig, expiration date guest, sampling the strawberry yogurt. I'm going to say uh, September... 10th. September 10th. May we see the actual date of expiration on the strawberry yogurt. And that date is 9 10 90, September 10th. Right on the You know, Paul, the toughest part about that, he has to uh, give himself uh, his own drum roll there in the middle of it. I know, well, dexterous. And yeah, he guesses yeah, the yeah. proper information. You know, to me, I think the, the perishable item lady looks familiar. Do you recognize her from somewhere? No. Never <laughs> like, seen her before. Like maybe dinner last night? Never seen her before. Yeah. Never seen her before. Uh, wait, I'm, uh, it's the strangest sensation. I feel I've seen the perishable item lady somewhere before. What do you mean? You, like, you feel you might know what yeah, she's like got a, underneath? Yeah, dinner or what something. What she's wearing underneath yes, the perhaps. dress or something? The, uh... <laughs> The presentation of tonight's, oh, did I tell you tonight's viewer mail night? Now, this is, this is serious. This is actual viewer mail, and we answer them uh, from actual viewers, and here we go. Very, very much. Thank you so much. Well, nice say, to see you. Uh, it's nice to see you. It's Before nice we to begin be our little discussion here, let me ask you one personal question. Sir. 
Does it look to you like I might have been in the Dave Clark Five at one uh, time in my life? You do have a, that sort of styling, yes. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. How was your vacation? I had a nice time. Did you do anything special? Nothing much. Yeah. Uh, I traveled a little bit, yeah. watched some TV, got yeah. married, and uh, nothing. What? <laughs> I'm, nothing I'm too sorry, much. I'm sorry, Paul. What? You did what? Oh, I traveled around. I <laughs> got married and uh, just did a, uh, a few things. Well, congratulations. Thank you. No, actually, ladies and gentlemen, if I may actually, make the official. Sure. Uh, I married the lovely Kathy Vassipoli. Kathy you know Vassipoli, who, who worked on this program She's for a few years. on and off on this program. Yeah. She's a fabulous talent coordinator kind of chick. <laughs> and, uh, and what kind of talent is she coordinating for you? Well, uh, never mind that. Hey, stop it. Hey, hey. It, uh, uh, I feel very grown up. I'm proud of myself. I got a great gal. And uh, Are you, you know, enjoying it? Do you feel differently being married? Of course not. You've known her for a long time. No, we dated her for quite some time. Yeah. Yes, and and what, what did you do on your vacation? I'm sorry, your honeymoon. This wasn't a vacation for you, Paul. This was That's your, right. it was this no was your vacation honeymoon. for me. It was a honeymoon. Yeah. We, went, we went to Paris <laughs> and, right. and certain points in, uh, in the south of France. We had a lovely oh, uh, romantic right. time. Yeah. I, I found out the difference, so the main difference between Paris and, and New York. Uh -huh. The film, The uh, Fabulous Baker Boys, was playing over there. Uh -huh. But over there, it's called Suzy, Ailey Baker Boys. <laughs> Absolutely true. The French know where the money is. Suzy and, and the Baker Boys. I see, yeah. yeah. Baker Boys in small print. Well, that's, that's great. And congratulations to you. Now, the band, I guess, is not in on this at all, are they? Well, I didn't marry the band. No, what, of course not. What, what do you mean by that? I don't know. I was just uh, looking for some kind of cheap joke there. <laughs> And me, ask me, what did I do on my vacation? Ask me again, what did I do on my vacation? What did you do on your vacation? 150 on the Autobahn. Get yeah! Yeah. Okay, Thank you. You were, uh, you were in Deutschland then? <laughs> For a little bit. And they it's, have no... You know, the Autobahn over there is just like I-95. No speed limits over there. No speed limits. And it's just like I-95, except 130 will get you booted out of the fast lane. Right. So you were in your glory over there. This was, this was nuts. I got a car now. I got a car that'll go 180 miles an hour. Here in, in the country? No, no. Over there in Germany. Oh, you have a car? I mean, I rented it. It's not like I'm... Yes, I'm keeping a car, keep a over, car there. over there. <laughs> so you had a car that would go 180. 180, maybe 190. Yeah. Yeah. Depending on the kind of luggage you bring along. But depending on, depending on what you have in the glove box. Yeah. And they let you just open it up wide out there? Yeah. So, so now I'm blowing along in the Autobahn. I'm going like 130. I think this is plenty fast. I think to myself, ha! This is plenty fast. I would I, say. I got tickets for going like 60. Uh, well, we Over know there, that. Over there, I'm doing yes. 130, and I think this is fine. Now, a guy comes up behind me in a, in a Mercedes. Not any kind of sports car. It's yeah. a big, growling, coal-burning Mercedes. Family Mercedes, yeah. A sedan like a four-door and a family. It's him yeah. and his wife and the kids. Uh -huh. And he's got his lights on, and he's nudging me. Yeah. You know, like You're I'm doing Tom one Cruise thing. or something. Yeah, I'm doing 130, and I'm, I'm not moving because I think for you German people, 130 is plenty fast. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking in my mind. For my money, it it's is, yeah. It's not a yeah. good idea to be telling the Germans what to do, no. though. But, no. So after about 20 minutes of this, the guy is steamed, and he just comes around me, and he gets in front of me, and he's dust. He's just gone. And I think, geez, I wonder how fast this guy is going. So like the adult I am, <laughs> I get on, and I think, well, hell, he's, in a, he's in, in a sedan there with his family. I at least ought to be able to keep up with this guy. Sure. I, and finally, at, at 250 kilometers per hour. What is that in That's miles? about 155. Right. That's when I decided I needed a cup of coffee. Yeah. <laughs> but the guy was gone. I wow. could, at that speed, I couldn't keep up with him. So you had a race, like a one on one race in the middle of the highway. <laughs> yeah. That's how I spent my vacation. You must but have loved it. It was a great deal of fun. No citations. Uh, uh, hey, no, no. You, know, you know what I missed uh, most about being gone? It was this thing. It was something we started before vacation two weeks ago. Uh, I don't know if you were able to uh, catch two or three of these. We did, I think, three. It's something we, we do with our drummer, Mr. Anton Fig, and it's called Anton Fig's Expiration Date Guess, I guess is what we're calling it. And we're going to do it again for you tonight. There's a... Uh, all right. Let me explain how this works. Anton, do you have, do you have the blindfold in place? Yep. Okay. Uh, all right. Now, may we have the perishable item lady, please? Thank you, perishable item lady. Anton, I can only tell you that tonight's perishable item is cottage cheese. Here we go. Anton Fig, expiration date guest, takes a spoonful, checks it out, thinking it over. Um, 
I'd say it, it expires on uh, September the uh, 16th. September 16th. Yeah. All right, Anton, may we see the actual expiration date, please, perishable item lady. It, oh, no, Anton! A very good try. A damn good try. A very nice try. What, what should we do? Should we do how's the weather? Do we have time for this? Okay. program. Thank you very much. Martina Navratilova is here. Uh, Victoria Jackson from Saturday Night Live will be joining us. A very funny man, Jonathan Katz, is also on the program. And uh, Judith Hyatt. I forgot to mention Judith Hyatt, Paul. Do you have any idea what this woman does? Uh, Take does a guess. Does it have anything to do with cabbage? Yes, yes. Very good. Yeah. She cooks with cabbage. She cooks with cabbage? Yeah. Cabbage is very good for you. Yeah, I, so I understand, yeah. Tomorrow, I'm beginning my all-juice diet. All juice diet? No more solid foods ever really? again in my life. Nothing but juice. You're trying to drop a few pounds? <laughs> no, I just think it's probably... I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> hey, you know, I did come up with a great idea this morning. I'm waiting for the elevator. And you know how frustrating it is, how irritable you can get waiting for the elevator? Oh, especially when I came up comes. with a great idea. Yes. In, in a building like this, how many floors do we have where we work? Uh, about 50 floors. That's right. Get a separate elevator for each floor. Now, you mean one elevator to go up to the second right. floor? That's right. There would be it. If, you, if you're going to the 50th floor, you get on the 50th floor elevator. It takes you right up. No well, way. You'd have to have 49 elevators. Well, so what? They can figure that out. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Hey, you idea. know what it's time for? It's time for Anton Fig, Mr. Expiration Date, Guess This, or something. <laughs> Uh, Anton, uh, you, I see the blindfold is in place. May we have tonight's perishable item, please? Here comes the perishable item, lady. Oh, man. All right, Anton, I can tell you that tonight's perishable item is half and half. He will now taste it a bit and give us his guess for the actual expiration date. Half and half. Uh, hmm. <laughs> I'm going to guess uh, September... The uh, 12th. September 12th, just about a week from tonight, I believe. All right, that's the guess, September 12th. Perishable item lady, may we see the actual <laughs> expiration date, please, on the half and half. And there we see it's... Oh, my God, right in the money! Yes! Yes! Really? Very impressive. Hit it right on the nose! Yes. Yes. It's amazing. You you developed this as a child, didn't you? I've been practicing. Yeah, all right. Uh, our first guest tonight. It's getting wackier and wackier in here. It's nutty in here. Yeah. What's we, going on? Well, you know, when we, when we do the commercials, yeah. it's just like bedlam in here. It, it's like hornets swarming. And, and everybody has a little bit of information, a little bit of very important, very significant information. All of your staff descends Sometimes upon it gets you. gets a little, hey, hey, are we doing this, Anton? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you've been living under a rock lately, then I guess you haven't heard about this, but uh, everywhere you go these days, people are talking about our drummer, Anton Fig, has this uncanny ability to just by taste or smell tell what the expiration date is of, of various <laughs> perishable items. Now, right. And we're going to do another one tonight. Anton, put the, put the, uh, the blindfold in place. And this, this is something, something you, you first noticed as a child. Is that correct, Anton? Yeah, Pardon? okay. May we have the perishable item lady, please? Thank you very much. Uh, Anton, tonight's uh, perishable item is butter, and I believe it's uh, unsalted. Is that what it is? All right, unsalted butter. There you go, Anton. <laughs> He's tasting it now. You can have more if you like. You can have a whole stick if it would make you feel better. I, I'm going to go out on a limb and say um, 
Christmas uh, 1990. That would be December 25th, 1990. That would be his prediction for the expiration date. All right, may we see now the actual expiration date of the butter. And it is, oh, you were way off October 26th, but still a damn good try. Thank you very much. And, uh, yes, sir. -y. Now, we've done this seven or eight times. I believe you've hit it right on the money twice. It's very, very impressive. It's very difficult, too. <laughs> it is difficult? Yeah. Yeah, we have quite a, a nice knack. You make it look easy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, our first guest. Call the super. We have a window out over here. Yeah, we do. Yeah. The place is getting wackier and wackier. I know what you mean, sir. Hey, hey, you know what we haven't done yet? Let's do that to Anton Fig thing. Boy, is this exciting. We have a guy, our drummer, Anton Fig, and this guy from since like he was three years old, through taste and smell and touch, can predict, can select, can actually choose the expiration date of perishable items. Anton, put, a, put on the blindfold. All right. Is the blindfold in place, Anton? Okay. May we have the perishable item lady with tonight's perishable item? Okay. Anton, I can tell you only that tonight's perishable item is ground chuck. And we're not really looking for the expiration date. We're looking for the last day by which it must be sold. Okay. There he's testing it now. Ingesting a little raw beef. Wiping his face. Handing it back to the... Perishable uh, item lady. I say this should be sold by September <laughs> the 10th. All right. Anton says the ground chuck must be sold by September 10th. Now, perishable item lady, may we see the actual date on the ground chuck? Oh, one day off. Very, very close. September the 9th. Nice job, Anton. Still you. amazing. Hey, Anton, I don't want you to be discouraged. You gave it a great shot and you were only one day off. It was very close to It's very tricky with, yeah. very tricky with ground chuck. Yeah. Oh boy, our first guest. And hey kids, look who's over at the piano. Yes, it's Bruce Hornsby. Welcome to the show. It's great to have Bruce Hornsby sitting in on piano tonight. He has done more to get piano players right. laid, right. I huh? think, since... Hello, testing <laughs> operator. Since My Lewis. goodness, are we, are we on the air? Don't you think? Also on guitar, sit from Bruce Hornsby's range, George Marinelli, Jr. Hi, George. Nice to see you here. Tonight. Oh, yeah. Yeah. tonight. How, uh, how many people are in the range? How many folks in the range? There are four of us with two ladies right. uh, added in. We needed a little. Uh, Is that like the range kick auxiliary? Issue. The range at. So, yes, <laughs> ladies auxiliary yeah. of, of the range. The range. That's right. right. Nice to have you here, and, and thanks for the one lone range member. Oh, geez, I very closely came to making a joke there, didn't I? Yeah, you can get, get Tonto in there. That'd be good. Uh, let's see. Uh, you know, you ever see this MTV? Excuse me? I, <laughs> are you, are you going to pay attention I'm tonight? Trying. No, people are, you know. Have you ever seen MTV? I've caught it occasionally. You folks yes. understand what MTV is. They play the little records and they have that dance party thing. And <laughs> it's like a 24-hour dance party, uh, yeah, yeah. I guess the kids are crazy about it. I hardly ever see it. So I, I, I happen to be watching it. It's mostly for me fish, uh, fishing shows on ESPN. So <laughs> one, one day I happen to be watching it. Now what are you doing? I, I'm trying. I'm making get arrangements. Get me through this first six minutes, and then you can I'm nap. I'm making I don't arrangements care. to hear you electronically. I you see. know, you'd think in this day and age, but yeah. no. Anyway. You can't hear me now? Now I can. Now we okay, can Okay, thanks, hear you. Bruce, for backing him up. There you go. 
Now he's got it. It's a whole different world when you have the... So the I'm watching the MTV, and I see this lovely... It's like two uh, very cute little blonde girls. They look like twin girls with mm -hmm. lovely blonde hair down to their, like their waist here, you know? And I'm thinking, wow, this is pretty exciting. And I, and I don't know who this group is. And so later they mention that it's uh, the Nelsons. And I think, oh, oh, that's nice. It's a couple It's a couple of cute little Scandinavian those, twins. No, no, those, yeah. Those. Oh, and it's Rick Nelson's uh, twin sons. Sons, yes. <laughs> Now, first of all, <laughs> yeah. you got to know something, though. They're, that's not the Nelsons. No, it's not. It's just Nelson. Nelson. That's yeah. That's right. <laughs> Those boys. And they're I lovely. I thought it was twin sisters from Sweden or no, something. No, no. Nice guys, actually. Nice Are guys. They ni I'm I've sure they're them. nice guys. I just, yeah. I'm, you know, as I'm dialing around, I see them and I say, oh, yeah, Norway, uh, wherever. Sweden, twin, twin. Uh, so you're saying you can't tell the, the guys oh, from the girls kids anymore. today, you don't know what they're doing, do you? No, you can't. Uh, hey, are we going to do this? Anton, are you ready? Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. It's another Anton Fig expiration date guess. Anton, please put the blindfold on. All right. All right, may we have the perishable item lady, please? Anton Fig tonight will try and guess the expiration date of a perishable item. Mm. Anton, I can tell you that tonight's perishable item is cream cheese with chives. Here we go. Sampling a little bit of it. And there he goes, and he will now tell us the expiration date of tonight's perishable item. I'm going to say, um, October 30th. 30th. Octo October 30th? Yep. All right. October 30th is the guess. May we have the actual expiration date, please? The cream cheese and chives. And it is... Oh, my God, he's done again! Oh! Yes, thank you. 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 You know, I want to tell you something. When Every night when you do that, it's exciting. But when you hit it right on the money, I'm telling you, man, it's like New Year's Eve in here. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, quickly, a little dialing music. Do you mind? Do you have some dialing music? What? David, can you explain a little something to me? Yeah, what? what? A couple of months ago, there was a guy who was shooting blow guns and darts into right. women's right. jeans and stuff. That's right. That was Dart Man. That was Dart Man with That's a T. That's not Liam Neeson. No, 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 no. This is Dark Man with a K. What is Dark Man? Dark Man is a motion picture. Oh, I see. Yeah, he is the star of the film Dark Man. Yet to be released? Yeah. No, I... it's out. It's out. It's out currently. Yeah. What, what was the last movie you actually attended, Paul? Uh, The Yearling. It was <laughs> The Yearling. <laughs> uh, no, uh, it's uh, Dark Man, and he'll be out here uh, in a matter of minutes. Anton, are you all set? Let's just do this and get this out of the way. Here we go. Anton putting his blindfold in place. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to play Anton Fig's expiration date guess. Mm -hmm. Here's how this works. We have a wide variety of perishable items that you or I perhaps would purchase in a supermarket. Anton Fig, since he is a small boy, has been able to determine by taste, touch, smell, or feel the expiration date of these perishable items. <laughs> We're going to do some for you tonight. May we have the perishable item lady, please? Here she is. Okay. Anton, tonight is going to be a little tricky. Tonight, it's not one, but two items. We have chips and dip. I believe it's avocado dip, and those are taco chips. So we're going to give you a taco chip with some dip. Give us two expiration dates. Please, please, absolute silence, if you will. All right, there he's tasting, considering it. Mmm, who doesn't enjoy that rich, nut-like flavor of avocado? Mm. All right, Anton. I'm going to say I'm the chip. <laughs> <laughs> he's, going, he's going to guess the chip first, ladies and gentlemen. All right. What is your guess on the chip, Anton? Chip, I say September the 24th. September the 24th, all right. And the dip? On the dip, I say November the 24th. Six. All right, so we have the chips September 24th and the dip November 26th. All right, may we see the actual dates of expiration, please. And the chips are September 24th. Oh, congratulations. What was, what was the other one? What I don't know. Oh, 11. Oh, I see. Very good. Very good. Nice going, Anton. Man, you really, you really impressed me with that. Mm, thank you. So you got the chips, you didn't get the dip. Right, well, next time we'll get the dip. Yeah, all right. 
And, 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 ladies and gentlemen, by mere coincidence, tonight we're going to show you some actual finds, purchases we've made from actual supermarkets here in uh, Manhattan. And as a matter of fact, yes, this morning, they held a press conference to promote their new Share a Hostage program. So. <laughs> oh, I don't think there's any point in that one. Hey, hey, look at us, our good friend over here, Mr. Paul Schaefer. Say hello to Paul. He's right over there. Right over there. Right? Two. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Hey. Did you see the picture of the Dalai Lama in the paper this morning? Yeah. Did you notice any resemblance between him and anybody that you might know? That's right. He looks just exactly like you. Very much like yeah. me. As a matter of fact, my wife <coughs> <coughs> noticed. Man. Your lovely bride of only a couple of weeks. Interesting to be able to say that. She yeah. said, look, look, honey, you made the paper, and it turned out it was a Dalai That's Lama. That's cute. That's the kind of fun you kids have at home now. Yeah, huh? well, you know, marriage is nutty. Uh, okay, so I only told two sort of lame yeah, jokes. Yeah, what happened to the well, third no, 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 But I'm telling you, everybody here will get a t-shirt before we're done tonight. All right. Uh, you know... <laughs> so, uh, every morning for like the last 15 years, I drag myself out of bed and I run. Like yeah. four and a half miles. And, and, right. and as I get... Uh, yeah. <laughs> many people who have tried to run me down in their cars. And, and as I get older, it gets more and more difficult. And, and I realize this, and I'm not running very fast. I'm not running very quickly. I run uh, like a sparrow. If you've ever seen a sparrow running, just before it might take off, that's, that's about the speed I can develop. Sort of moderately quickly. Well, no, 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 Paul. This is, this is feeble at best. And, and the reason is the combined age of my knees, were you to total it up, would be 86, 86 years old. So this morning, I'm out there doing what I can, but I think to myself, sure, it's lame, sure, it's embarrassing, but at least, by gosh, I'm out there doing it, right? I'm, yeah, I'm absolutely. exercising. Yes, yeah. certainly. Uh, and so a guy drives up in a big, late model, big, huge car. The, you know, when they quit naming them, they were so big. It's yeah. just a big, huge... <laughs> big one. And he rolls down the window, and he blows the horn to kind of get my attention as he goes by pretty slowly, and he says, Give him hell, Dave! <laughs> so I said to myself, do I need this? Yeah. <laughs> Nothing worse. I know what you mean. What's the matter with Larry King? Today he said that he thought Lester was better looking than Willie Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There, there's your three lame jokes. Now you've had Before we uh, do Anton Figg uh, guesses the expiration date. Boy, and we're getting very close to the last one, I think maybe tonight. And tomorrow night. And you've, you've been accurate about three quarters of the time. About 75% mm -hmm. of the it's time you've uncanny. been able to detect uncanny. the actual... Oh, it is uncanny. But hey, take a look at this. On uh, this, this month's issue, is it a monthly? It's a quarterly. All right. The, this, this issue here of, of uh, Base Player Magazine. Damn, my subscription has run out to this. We... Uh, look, it's our own Base Player, Will Lee, right there. Look at that. A very handsome... Congratulations, Will. Man, look at that. All about Will. His likes, his dislikes, his turn-ons, his turn-offs, <laughs> his pet peeves, on and on. Everything you needed to know about uh, uh, Will Lee right what there. What does he in... look for in a woman? I don't know. We'll get into that a little bit later. All right, All right Anton, you know, uh, put on Anton is the uh, blindfold in place. Here we All go. Right. Anton Fig now will guess the expiration date of something. This is how he does it. All right. Oh, we don't need that. Okay. Just to... All right, perishable item lady. Oh, oh, perishable item lady. There you go. You know, we, before we quit doing this, Anton, if it's all right with you, could we let the perishable item lady guess a date? Sure. Okay, fine. Thank you very much. Uh, tonight, Anton, the perishable item uh, that you'll be trying to guess the expiration date of is mayonnaise. Here we go. Anton helping himself to a big tablespoon of mayonnaise. All right, he's thinking. It's pretty easy, Dave. Uh-huh. <laughs> October the 15th. October the 15th, he says, very confidently, may we see the actual date of expiration of the mayonnaise. And it is... Oh, my God!
no. You, you keep that up. You're going to be on a magazine one day. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, expiration date magazine. Perishable item monthly. Uh, let's do our uh, top ten list now from the home office in Lebanon, Pennsylvania. Thank you. Hey, Dave. Could you ask? Could you ask Robin Leach something for me? Well, what is it, Paul? Out? What do you need? What can I, was, I do for you? I saw him at a nightclub about a couple of months ago. He was with a gorgeous girl. Who, who's this? Uh, Robin Leach. Robin Leach. Yeah. I wonder yeah. if you could ask him about this because he had a great date at a, at right. a club and. There was a high-heeled shoe on the uh, table, and they were yeah. drinking champagne right. out, of, out of this shoe. Yet I looked at the woman's feet, and she had both her shoes on. Isn't that odd? So I don't know what, what was so, going on. So you're saying perhaps they travel with an extra shoe. I think that, that's the only explanation. Good I Lord. could just see him, you know, hello, yeah. Gloria, it's Robin. Bring the shoe. <laughs> I don't yes, know. Yes, what... but what must dinner at their home be like? Oh, well, exactly. I don't uh, want to think about it. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's Friday night before the big weekend, and I think this may be the final installment. This may be the last time you see Is this, this be it? on North American television. Anton Fig, our drummer, has an amazing ability to guess the expiration date of perishable items. <laughs> Anton, put the... Uh, put the... Uh, Put the uh, blindfolded place there. May we have the uh, perishable item lady, please? Where is the uh, per... Oh, here she is. My, what a lovely... Lovely dress. All right, uh, perishable item lady. What, what is the item tonight? We have... Oh, Anton, it's bacon. Tonight's perishable item is bacon. And, and we've cooked a slice for you there. Mm -hmm. Now Anton will taste the bacon and give us the actual expiration date. Here we go. Watch it. It's amazing. Here we go. Oh, now. It's All right, pretty difficult done. because it's cooked. But yes, that's right. I'm going to go with uh, October the 19th. October 19th. Yeah. Perishable item, lady. May we see the actual date of expiration, please? And it is. Dave, I don't want to hurt your feelings, but if you'd done this kind of stuff on your little music show, you'd still be in business. Hey. <laughs> it's got to twist the knife. <laughs> it's a joke. It's cold. That's cold. Uh, let's, uh, let's do our uh, viewer mail. Every Friday evening, kids, we answer our uh, voluminous collection of viewer mail here in the building.